Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I'm going to show you an updated look at my Everyday Carry Traveler's Notebook. Now, up until this point, I have been using my Foxy Fix number six um, Rowena Traveler's Notebook as my Everyday Carry. I really, really like it. Um, it's a very simple setup. I don't have a whole lot of you know frills and stuff going on because I literally throw this in and out of my bag and I don't want it to get like you know I don't want a lot of stuff um, hanging out of the tops and whatnot but um, as much as I love this I am finding that I'm really really loving the B6 size and so I have recently set up this new to me traveler's notebook which is a boho dory I think it's called um, it's by Boho Cottage, and I just bought this off the Buy Sell group, so I have set this up as my everyday carry for right now. I actually have another five coming from Foxy Fix, but it's probably going to take a while, so I'm going to use this in the meantime as my everyday carry, so I thought I would show you guys how I have this set up. But um, yeah, I do love this, and there's nothing wrong with this. I just wish that this was in a b6 or size 5 so and I think I have a video on this too um, if I can remember I will link it below because nothing has really changed from this so let's go ahead and look inside my new to me <laughs> boho dory b6 everyday carry traveler's notebook setup now this is um, a really really nice leather it's a little bit thinner than what I prefer but I really like the way it feels it's got a really nice um, pebbly texture and um, it's it's a lightweight leather it seems like it's going to be pretty durable to you know handle I guess um, the abuse of you know being carried around every day so it it came with white stitching and elastics, but the uh, the elastic was really, really thin, so I went ahead and changed it to this uh, purple color because that's just what I had in my stash. I didn't have any white elastic. So um, I went ahead and changed that, and I kind of like the um, the contrast of it. Now, I think this color is called Robin, Robin Egg Blue, but to me, it looks like a gray. I don't see any hint of blue at all anywhere in this. And it's showing up pretty true to color in my camera. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to look blue, but it's, it's very much like a cement gray to me. All right, so let's go ahead and look inside. Now, like I said, this um, leather is very, very thin. So, when you you know when you have when you don't have anything in here it shows through like the pockets and stuff so I had to kind of put some stuff in here just to smooth it out but it does have pockets and it's a really beautiful beautiful leather so in this first front pocket I have a couple of um, homemade dashboards that I made I think I've showed this Starbucks one um, in other videos or bookmarks I should say and then this is one I got from I think it's called Paper Dolls Co. And she was giving out these freebies. And I just stuck a um, sticky pocket on the back and then I put in some, I think these are called like washi stickers or something like that. But anyway, that's what I've got in this front pocket. Now you may have seen some of these dashboards in my other everyday carry um, Traveler's Notebook, which was the Foxy Fix Rowena number five, and I have since sold that notebook because as much as I loved it, I wanted a wide version, so I have a wide Foxy Fix on the way. So this is my dashboard. I've showed that before, and uh, my first insert, oh, and this is the secretarial pocket. My first insert is this calendar. Now, I did some... Um, playing around I had that calendar in my journal um, traveler's notebook but I had a different calendar and so I actually swapped it out so uh, this is a new calendar insert here that I found at Dollar Tree and so I put that one in here and then I ended up moving 
the one that was in there to here. So you may have seen this in the last video before this one. So this is just a uh, month on two pages um, calendar. And then this is another bookmark I made. I can't remember where I got this um, printable, but it was a freebie that I just laminated and then I stuck in here. I know I'm really bad about not remembering where I get those. But this is the back side of that dashboard. So next I have a piece of vellum. And then this is the other, uh, my second dashboard. And then my second insert is the Annie Plans month <laughs> printable. And this is for August. And so I'm almost done with this one, but it's just the day per page. And uh, I really like these inserts, but I don't like printing them myself, so I don't know if I'm going to continue to do that. I think I'm just, I think I said that before that I'm just going to buy them uh, after I use up, you know, what I, what I already purchased. This is the back inside of that dashboard. I've just got some stickers in here. And then the other side of that vellum. I've got another piece of vellum here. And then um, my next insert is a folder. And I don't have anything in the folder yet. Um, the girl that I bought this uh, notebook from, she actually sold me some folders and some dashboards too. So I just kind of threw this in, in here because I liked how it matched. So um, I don't have anything in there yet, but I think it's really pretty. Then I've got another Foxy Fix dashboard. And then it goes into my September day on a page um, inserts. So these are also Annie, Plan, Annie Plans printables. And it's just the blank day per page. And then you've got the week here at the beginning. So again, I love these inserts. I mean, I like the layout, but I don't like printing them myself. So um, this is the back of that dashboard. And then the back of that folder, which doesn't have anything in it. Uh, this is the back of the vellum and then I've got another dashboard now these again they're the same dashboards that I had um, in my Rowena size 5 Foxy Fix so that hasn't really changed and uh, inside this uh, dashboard I have a zip pouch this is a B6 zip pouch and I got another freebie printable in here again um, I can't remember where. I mean, I really should get better at that. This is the same one that was in there before. But I just laminated it and then stuck it in here just because I really like the picture. And then I don't have anything in these pockets here yet. And then my last insert is just a plain lined um, insert. And this will just be like brain dump, random notes, you know, just when I need to jot something down on the go. This is the back of that zip pouch and I've just got stickers in here, some sticky notes that, um, you know, in case I need them for whatever reason. And then this is the back of the uh, dashboard. Again, that has not changed. And then in this back pocket here, I've got some stickers that I got in some Happy Mail, and then this is another um, freebie printable that I got from one of the Facebook groups, and all I did was laminate it. And someone had asked me how I print out my freebie printables, and what I do is I just print them on photo paper, because I have um, a ton of photo paper that I just don't use. And so I print them out on photo paper. And then depending if I feel like it or not, I laminated it. I laminated this one because I use it in this back pocket to kind of give it a little bit more structure, you know, so I don't get that show through of the line in the back. And again, these are just some uh, diary stickers I got in some Happy Mail. So, um, and that is it for my new everyday carry. Like I said, I'm waiting for a Foxy Fix one, uh, a wide, to come. And that's probably what I'm going to use. I really, 
I've said it before, I love to stuff my traveler's notebooks because I just I just like the way they feel, I like the way they look. And so um, I really wish more of the TN makers would make wide options. So as soon as I get that, I will probably move all of this stuff into the wide <laughs> and then I'll do another updated video to show you guys how that's how that's set up and how it's working out but so far I think this is gonna work um, you know like I said I just set it up and so I'll start carrying it with me this week to see how it does and I'm really excited about this and I'm hoping that this leather you know stands up to the day-to-day -day wear um, if it doesn't work then I will always go back to my number six but like I said I'm really loving this size so I'm kind of slowly transitioning all my notebooks to the B6 size. All right, if you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to throw those down below. And um, I can't think of anything else. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so because I've got a lot more videos to come. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I will definitely see you all in the next video. Bye.